tonight's reading is a little bit late. Um, I had a situation come up. I'm actually working on music, but music for God. And he has kind of, what's the word? Um, kind of just sparked up something in me to make this song. Um, it's the first time I've actually like started making, I guess, Christian hip hop, so to speak. So it's not really me making it though, because I kind of surrendered it to him and he's kind of got the guys on this. So um, whatever the Lord wills on it, you know, I'm excited for it. I'll say that much because uh, it's already coming out way more blessed and a lot better than I could have ever expected it to, you know. Um, I have faith that it's going to be something, as well as the rest of my life here, um, something that the I will have to give glory to God for, you know. Um, but tonight's reading comes from Luke again. We're in Luke chapter 6. And uh, this is a message that I kind of feel called to give tonight. Because I feel like a lot of us aren't understanding conviction versus condemnation. Or also not understanding like you know, like, we aren't feeling enough conviction, I guess, if that makes sense. Now, like, it's not necessarily a good nor bad if you're feeling conviction, but conviction is something that the Lord and the Holy Spirit does to you to get you to, like, focus right, you know? And focusing is, like, an imperative part of this following, following Christ. And the verses um, that I want to read to you um, is actually... Uh, like 48, but it wouldn't make sense. Um, well, well, I just feel like starting from 48 here in chapter 6 of Luke, and just what it says is they are like a man building a house who dug down deep and laid the foundation on rock. When a flood came, the torrent struck that house but could not shake it. Hmm, <sighs> yeah, me. Number one, that's first John count. Anyways, they are like a man building a house who dug down deep and laid the foundation on a rock. When a flood came, the torrent struck that house but could not shake it because it was well bit, built. And he's talking about how um, people that actually put his words into practice um, like are like people that build a strong firm foundation and a storm that comes through the house will not tear it down. And verse 49 says, but the one who hears my words and does not put them into practice is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation. The moment the torrent struck that house, it collapsed and its destruction was complete. So this word right here is pretty much emanating like if you listen to God's words, the storm of life and the storm of the world around you will not be able to take you away from that strong foundation that you have found with Jesus Christ. Um, rather being so that if we hear his words and don't build that foundation with him, then all will perish and fall and the um, storm because we didn't build that foundation with Jesus, you know, that super deep, super rooted, super whole foundation with Jesus. And it's not necessarily by the works, right? But it's by faith and listening to his word. Um, it's like practicing what he preaches without it being something that we like work because, you know, faith without works is dead, of course, but um, faith in and of itself will um, bring the works out of you. And if you fall to sin, you know, and you have faith that you will be forgiven for your sin and that he will save you from your sin and that you have faith that what he said is the sin is living within you, then those works will naturally come because he is working through you. See, and this is how Jesus works. Jesus works I mean, the Heavenly Father and the Son work through with the Holy Spirit, and they all work within you to create what God and who God has known you and created you to be. And this is the very imperative part of the 
walking with Jesus um, following. You, you, you want to understand that you have to practice what he preaches. The only thing about that is, is it's not all about works, right? It's all about faith. And works and salvation come from that faith in Jesus Christ. Um, this is going to be a short video. I'm kind of tired. I'm ready to go to bed. Um, but I felt like reading one more chapter and reading another message. And uh, the Holy Spirit also has just been calling me to do it every night that I'm able to and that he wills it to. And I'm lucky that he blessed me with another night to be able to do this, I would say. Not lucky, I guess. I am. I, I would say that it was in his will and I am blessed that he has done it. Um, so I am going to, um, just reiterate the point that, um, just in case you weren't feeling enough conviction today, that the Lord is wanting us to follow and practice what we are being preached here, but also understand that we should be focused on our faith in Christ and those works will naturally come. That it is, you know, like those practices of those preaches are how we know for certain that we are following God's word and understanding that we have faith in the foundation that he sets for us to be in amidst the storm. So let's pray real quick before we go to, uh, before I leave you on that. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this day that you have blessed us with, Father, in this moment, in this reading from Luke chapter 6. You have blessed us with here, Father. I pray that everybody that is in this room right now, whether it be on my side of the screen, which is only me and you, God, and the or the other side of the screen, Lord, may understand the conviction that they're feeling right now and uh, walk forward towards you, Jesus, and walk forward towards you, Heavenly Father, so that they may, in the name of Jesus, so that we all may be practicing what you are preaching here, Father, through faith in you, God. And in Jesus' name, Lord, we just pray that you take us and lift us up under your wing, Lord, and that you just guide us to become more and more in that dependency, Lord. But not in the dependency, Lord, in the dependency on you, Father, and the dependency on understanding your preachings and practicing your preachings, Father, and just being with you every step of the way forward, Father. We just pray that you just continue to work through us, Lord, and we've put our faith in you to work through us, Father, and that we pray that you just continue to bless us with your presence and with your love and with all of the glorious, faithful things that you do for us always, Father. Thank you for being such a faithful and holy and loving God, Father. And it is in Jesus' mighty name, Lord, I pray that you just continue us down this path of understanding your presence, Lord, and what you've preached here and practicing it, Lord, practicing it through faith, Father. We just, we just, we want to, you know, be closer to you more, Lord, and just encapsulate this word, Father, and be with this word, Lord. And we thank you for giving us the word and for giving us your love, Lord, and just for being there in all the right ways, Lord, which are your ways. And it's in Jesus' mighty name, Lord, that I pray for all of us here tonight, Lord, and that we all pray for all of us here tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Remember, practice what is being preached through faith, and you will be set free by Jesus Christ. God bless you all. If God wills it, I will see you again tomorrow. You all have a very God-blessed day or night whenever you're watching this. And I pray that you all continue to follow the peace of Jesus Christ and our Heavenly Father above. God bless you all.